Welcome back everyone to Short Splats. I'm Jared. Today we are going over horror conventions. Horror conventions are a good time. I like it more for the vendors than the actors, but if you collect autographs, these are some cons you got to get to. So here's our thumbnail. Horror conventions coming soon. I can't say that I've been to hundreds of these, but I've been to a few. Um, Monster Mania is the biggest in this area. We also have the New Jersey Horror Con that's kind of coming up. It feels a little weak this year to me, but if you're into some of those actors, little 80s and really off-brand horror, but you know what? I found a couple names that will be there that I would be interested in. Check out their website for more. Uh, we're not going to play the Jimmy J video because that's going to be our introduction to their con. All right, so first up, is we're going to go over Monster Mania. Monster Mania, next one is in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, um, Friday, March 11th through the 14th at the Cherry Hill Crown Plaza, where they normally have it. I think they need a bigger area in the Cherry Hill area. I don't know where they're going to find one, but it, it gets a little packed there. Um, let's read some of the guests announced. We have Michael C. Hall, who played Dexter, and it's his first convention. People are excited about that. They're selling out already. I know the VIPs are gone, and I think like Friday and Saturdays are selling out now, too. Um, Jennifer Carpenter, Deborah Morgan from Dexter, the sister. She's been to a couple cons. I hear she's really cool. Desmond Harrington, he played Joey Quinn from Dexter. James Ramar, he played Dexter's dad, Harry Morgan. C.S. Lee, you get Masuka. That crazy little Chinese guy. Tech, he was funny as hell. I love Bumsuka. I, I, would, I, I wouldn't mind meeting him. Uh, David Zayas, Angel Batista from uh, Dexter. Angel was a good character in that show, too. Stephen Dorff, he played uh, Beacon Croft. Deacon Croft. Uh, Beacon, uh, little, little thing there. Um, James Jude, Courtney Michael Myers from Halloween Kills. James Jude Courtney. He played Michael Myers in the last Halloween. Um, Anthony Michael Hall from Everything in the 80s. <laughs> Most known now from Halloween Kills as uh, Tommy Doyle. Ernie Hudson. Winston Zedmore from Ghostbusters. Logan Kim. He played podcasts in Ghostbusters Afterlife. Which I'm going to do a review of because... I enjoyed the hell out of that movie, as did a lot of other people. I mean, it was a great movie, brought the nostalgia aspect, which is huge with me. Uh, Jeffrey Combs, he was Dr. West in Reanimator. Barbara Crampton, who was in Reanimator. Roger Jackson, we all know. Hello, Sydney. Is the ghost of ghost is the voice of Ghostface. He was a lot better than I did. Um uh, Ted Briones from the Chucky TV series, which I haven't finished yet. I need to get back on that. Because I was starting to really enjoy it, and then other shit happened. Uh, doesn't matter. Next up, we have Steve Miner, director and producer of Halloween H2O, Friday the 13th, Part 2 and 3. The Man, Kane Hodder, Jason Voorhees from 7 to 10. Derek Mears, who did a good job as the Jason Voorhees in the 2009 remake. And there's a couple more, but those are kind of ones that really stuck out to me as, you know, my kind of movies. Now, next up, we have the New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival. This is at Showboat, Atlantic City, my hometown, April 8th, 9th, and 10th, located at the Showboat, Atlantic City. Um... There's a lot of room there. Actors, I've seen better lineups for this. It's still up and coming. They've only started coming here in the last couple of years. Um, this year they have Whit Herford. He was um, Dan and Alice's kid from The Dream Child, Jacob. So that'd be pretty cool to meet him. Lara Park and Lincoln, who is... Um, the, the protagonist in Part 7, The New Blood of Friday the 13th. She had all the superpowers. Yeah. But, I mean, there's others. Uh, some ones I've never heard of. 
But if you're into that weird 80s horror and you need some autographs, check out their website, New Jersey Horror Con. Um, like I said, they do a good job. They also have a uh, cosplay contest, which our partners over at Horror 365 take place in. Uh, South Jersey Jason, you can find his website on our webpage. He does a great job. His costumes are crazy. Now, we're not done the conventions because we have a new one. Hopefully it's a yearly thing. I know they're trying to make it be, and I know the Blairstown Diner is trying to make it be. We have. Let's hear from him. Save the date. Friday the 13th, May 2022. The only Friday the 13th of the year. Yours truly, Jimmy J. And the Horror 365 team are coming back to Blairstown. And for what? The first ever Friday the 13th. Minicon, all hosted by the Blairstown Diner. Guys, girls, horrid. Tickets are on sale next Thursday, January 13th. Stay tuned. More announcements are coming your way for another killer time in Blairstown. We'll see you there. All right. Thank you, Jimmy J. We have the Friday the 13th mini convention. Even though I don't know if we could call it a mini convention. They got a hell of a lot of actors over here. All right. May 13th and 14th, Blairstown, New Jersey at the Blairstown Diner and the grounds around it. Here's the guests announced so far. We have Lauren Marie Taylor from Friday 2 and we'll be doing the brown panty photo op. Sean Richards, Part 3. Ron Milkey, he's the sheriff from 1. He's not going to allow any uh, funny business. Deborah Voorhees, Friday 5, no relation to Jason, but... Uh, Relation to some scissors in the eyes. <laughs> that was a cool kill scene. Even though I have my issues with Friday 5. Tracy Savage from Friday 3. Ron Sloan from Friday 5. And Hallie Reese Greenbauer from 13 Fanboy. A lot of cool stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a cosplay contest going on there. I'll talk to Jimmy about that to see what other stuff we have. You also have dinner with these guys. There's, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Go get your tickets now at f13minicon.eventbrite.com. So, you might be asking, why would you go to a horror con? It's, honestly, I've gone one or two times. I, I'm not an autograph hunter. There's one I want, there's one I need, and that might be happening in Oaks, PA in a couple months. We'll see. Uh, that would be Robert England. Um, I, I'm not one to get like starstruck or you know chase people down for. It's cool. I was like that when I was little and played baseball. Like I would die to meet Ken Griffey or Mark McGuire or any of that. But horror is it's something special when all the fans come together. The vendors make the coolest shit. The vendors are selling some of the cool stuff. You can find a lot of hard to find stuff here. Um, it just, it's fun. Like, you can actually go, just general mission, walk around, meet the vendors, and have a good enough time, That You don't need to go crazy for the VIP. If, for, to me, Dexter, you're gonna have to do the VIP. Because you're gonna be waiting there so long, we don't know when they leave or when they come back or if they have to go to e e you could buy the autograph and not even get there <laughs> so i mean for me to meet robert or dexter the vip is needed at monster mania because it comes with jump the line tickets and stuff like that but you don't need to do all that to go have fun at a monster mania or an nj horror con just get the general ticket have a fun Saturday. I mean, we usually went Sunday morning because we had stuff to do Saturday. And the amount of vendors and the amount of cool shit I saw. I think we spent four hours there just looking through shit. I met uh, Nightmares Unlimited back here. We'll do a showcase about him on short splats. I'll have him send me some videos and some clips of the stuff he's making. But he makes screen replica, replica gloves. Like, look at that shine under that blinking light. I don't know why that lights are blinking again, but whatever. I mean, it's highly detailed. I, it was 
like I was a young kid again on Christmas when that finally came in and I unsheathed it from the nice cloth. But he does a lot. He does Reanimator, he does Freddy, he does Jason, he's done Chainsaws. He's done a ton. And you can find all these guys at these conventions. So if you're looking for something horror, something not horror, these vendors have everything you need. The, the vendors are what really bring me to horror cons. The actors are cool. Um, my stepson met uh, the non-actress who plays the creepy nun. And uh, she was a nice lady. But like I said, I I don't go out for autographs. I'm, I'm not that... You might be, and that's fine. That's cool. I know um, uh, Brian from Horror 365 has a nice backdrop on his podcast with a bunch of autograph pictures and i need to get a picture of him drinking some coffee autographs so i can put it right over there just to piss off jamie J because he's a bigger star all right so this has been short splats monster conventions monster mania horror conventions um monster mania has got another show coming up that uh once they start announcing i'll do another short splats when they have a good list and I know Freddy will be back at one in Oaks, Pennsylvania. It's a much bigger area because I've been there for some other stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what they pull off up there. But this has been Short Splats. I'm Jared. I'm out. See you.